At least eight people were killed in Seoul on Monday after record downpours, flooded homes, roads and subway stations, cutting power and forcing hundreds to evacuate. South Korea's Interior and Safety Ministry said three of those who died had been trapped in a flooded semi-basement semi while nine others were injured and at least seven people remain missing. Since midnight Monday local time, parts of Seoul saw a total of 422 millimeters of rain, prompting authorities to raise the highest level 3 emergency alert. The city recorded 141.5 millimeters of rain per hour, the highest rate since authorities began keeping records. About 800 residents were evacuated to schools and gyms or voluntarily sought shelter in local community centers as flooding affected more than 700 houses and shops. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol sent his condolences to, to the victims on Tuesday, saying he would conduct an on-site inspection and work to prevent additional damage. Meanwhile, during President Yoon suk yeols inspection to a Seoul neighborhood that's damaged by heavy rain, he looked around the flooded households and met with residents. Landslide warnings were issued in nearly 50 cities and towns, while 160 hiking paths in Seoul and mountainous Gangwon province were closed. Nearly 800 buildings in Seoul and nearby cities were damaged due to the floods. Meanwhile, Israel was partially reopening crossings into Gaza for humanitarian needs on Monday and would fully reopen them if calmness was maintained. Fuel trucks were seen entering a cargo crossing for the first time since crossings with the Strip were closed last week, prompting a fuel shortage that ground Gaza's lone power plant to a halt on Saturday. The crossing's reopening follows a ceasefire agreement between Israel and Palestinian militants to end three days of fighting. The plan was set to resume full operations later on Monday. Gaza is currently suffering from a chronic power crisis due to the conflict. 